there really is no better way to start the day. I'm sure we've all heard that the most important relationship we will ever have is the one we have with ourselves. But this is often easier said than done, at least it was for me when I struggled to comprehend what a good self-relationship actually meant. Self-love, self-esteem and self-confidence are words that are easily encouraged but in practice difficult to genuinely feel and cultivate. Particularly if not formed on the foundation of a strong self-relationship and derived from a place of authenticity. There is no manual that will enable us to cultivate these sentiments and it's only from ourselves that we can both define and understand what it means to hold and experience them. But given time, from my experience, it's the one relationship that's truly worth investing in and offers us the greatest return in every sphere of life. Now, I was talking with one of my really good friends the other day and unfortunately they're going through a little bit of a tough time right now, but we got onto the topic of self-love, our self-esteem and our relationship with ourselves and it kind of became very apparent quite early on that her relationship with herself was not in the best place and she asked me for a little bit of advice, particularly since I live alone, how to develop a better relationship with yourself. And I love this topic all about self-love and self-esteem because it is something that I am particularly passionate about and it has been a journey for myself to try and get to this place where I'm genuinely so content and happy in the person that I am and the relationship that I have with myself. So how have I been able to do this? Because unfortunately I was not born straight out of the womb with this mentality or this mindset. It has certainly not come lightly, but it has been a journey and still continues to be a journey today that has been really worth taking and I have learned a lot from it. And one way that I've been able to do this that has really changed my relationship with myself has been things like spending a lot of time alone and taking the time to really decide what it is that I like and build a relationship with myself like I would do with any other. And I like to use this analogy when it comes to doing this, that imagine you are in a room with a complete and utter stranger and you are there, just the two of you, and it is nothing more awkward in that moment than being in a room with nothing going on and you and that person alone. And better yet, how even more awkward may it be when you have these preconceived ideas about this person that more often than not will be negative. It makes it even more difficult to try and form a relationship with that starting point. But as you get to know this person, as you get to understand them, as you conversate with them and spend time with them, you gain a deeper sense of who they are and understanding of them, which in turn helps you to build and develop a strong relationship. And I very much look at our relationship with ourselves this way. It is something that is not initially easy to do. It can be very awkward and uncomfortable spending time alone or even just wanting to get to know yourself to begin with. But as time will progress and you actively build that relationship, you learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about your viewpoints on things, and that can make time alone seem a lot less daunting and scary because you can utilize this as well to benefit your relationships with other people and help others because it comes from a place of abundance. negative connotations about spending time alone, 
or taking the time to build a healthy self-relationship. This was something I experienced firsthand as I initially felt an active resistance to want to understand myself on a deeper level. But the resistance I felt here was an indication I was doing the right thing and one that changed my whole perspective on both myself and the world around me. It was like the magnifying glass I needed to understand who I really am. That's why I firmly believe we need time to acquire a relationship with ourselves and treat it as we would any other. Figuring out what it is that we like and recognizing errors that may need working on. It's not about solely focusing on the negative. It's all part of the growing process and the necessities required to feel content with who we are. Ironically, when we treat ourselves in this way, with kindness and compassion, we begin to draw similar relationships externally. It's a snowball effect that brings deeper connection and healthy boundaries. So, from my experience, time taken to know yourself better will always be time well spent, and the benefits of doing so far outweigh the initial discomfort. And because of this, one thing that I found that will always ring true is that life is much more easy when you're on your own side. They are ready. Oh, I just want to eat one now. <laughs> Too hot. Got to wait. Patience, patience. So I really hope that this video can help you a little bit if you are struggling with a little bit of self-love or your relationship with yourself at the moment. To know thyself is the beginning of all wisdom, said the Stoics, and I don't think you could have summed it up more perfectly. So I would love to know as well in the comments down below your opinion on this because I don't really think self-relationships are really talked about much in society and I would love to know your perspective on it. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you all taking the time to be here and watch this video. Wishing you a happy and peaceful day wherever you are and I will see you again soon in my next video.